this music industry is a God blessing, you need to stop it. God don't like that we in this music business. God don't like that we talking about money, cars, and clothes and hoes. So if you want to be in, the, be in this music industry and you want to get money, understand what it comes with. That it's not from God, it's from the, it's from the devil. Understand, I just want you to understand that, you know, because I don't want y'all to get lost in the sauce and, 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 and complain what y'all going through and why y'all going through it. Period. It's not from God. Stop saying it's a God blessing. It's not from God. It's from the devil. He gives you what you want so you can destroy yourself. Hello guys, Value for Viral. Welcome to my true channel. YK Osiris, another hip hop artist, came out recently to expose the music industry. Currently right now, he's behind bars cause he was arrested over assault cause he beat up his girlfriend at his birthday party. As soon as you sign that contract and get that money and take that money, you sold your soul. So all that mimic talking about, oh, oh, he sold his soul, she sold his soul. If you sign that contract, if you sign a contract and got that money, you sold your soul. Period. Point blank period. As soon as you sign that contract, you sold your soul. When you do that contract, say do all this and do all that. And if you don't do it, you're going to get put on the shelf. You sold your soul. I know this shit is planned. He was speaking out way too much. So these guys, it's either... They're gonna keep his mouth shut or pull him through some MK Ultra or clone him. Worst of all, kill him. It's happened a lot and no one has done anything about it. So, guys, don't forget to give this video a like. Please share this video out. Subscribe to my channel. Let's go down the rabbit hole. Osiris is a new artist, just 21 years old straight up from florida he is signed to dev jam record so you all know the music company he's talking about and he's a very new guy he's just two years in the music game he currently stands at five hundred thousand dollars in net worth like most other artists he signed his contract for fame money and exposure supposedly in the pen and blood we all know the music industry is being run by the devil not long ago, Sukihana came out crying over her deals with the devil. I signed my soul. I, I sold my soul to the devil. I signed myself to the devil. I don't even own myself no more. I don't. I sold my soul to the motherfucking devil, and I don't pray. Okay, before going deep, I did some research back on Osiris, and I realized that he had a star, like he had a special qualities. That's why he was being chosen. He was kind of like a chosen one. Go check out the meaning of Osiris. Osiris was the Egyptian god of death and afterlife. I see the reason why they allowed him to keep his original name. When you get signed to a music company, they change your name. So it's very significant. And in this music cover, we can see him sitting on the throne. We got a pyramid with the all-seen eyes. The all-seen eyes of Lucifer behind. I can be silly, but you change. Stuff which I clearly expose on my channel and guys like I don't want to make this video long but that alone is enough to show you guys that he's part of the Illuminati or part of this satanic ring he's fed up because of the torments he's going through stop saying that it's a God blessing this is not from God this is not from God business and I'll be honest with you bro I want to get out this music industry because this is not for me but I do it because I feed my family. I want to get out this music industry because this is not for me. But I do it because I feed my family. But I don't want to be in this. This is not what God want me to do. And yeah, heard him. He said he sold his soul to help his family. But pretty much right now, it's not worth it. I've watched a lot of countless artists recite the same events. Eminem, Billy Eilish. But people are interested in hearing the truth. So let's listen more. You see, I'm gonna tell you something. They always want you to, you know what these rappers all these singers, all these big rappers y'all y'all look up to? They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get they, 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 they're dealing with emo spirit. So now his soul is gone. He's in constant depression, and he want to get out of the music industry as quick as possible. You, 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 you destroy yourself. This is not God blessing, my nigga. God don't want you to do no, God don't want you to talk about no sex, money, cars, clothes, and hoes. Let me let you guys know something. For those who don't believe in God or spiritual stuff, 
most of these artists, whenever they get signing, they don't take a time to completely read the deal. They just sign. Like they're just excited in the music in the morning and everything. They just sign. That's it. And it's after when they finish signing that they start regretting. Immediately you sign that stupid deal with the devil. Immediately you sell your soul. Your spiritual eyes will get open, which is actually your third eye. Then immediately you will know that God exists and devil exists. Nobody has to tell you anything. He's simply repeating the same stuff we've been saying in the truth community. All this satanic music are only out to mislead people to hell. What God wants you to do, you go through all this shit. The devil give you all this money, go through all this shit to destroy yourself. That's what the devil wants. You see one guy, he has over 10 million followers and you really analyze his kind of content he's putting out. He's simply misleading those 10 million followers to hell. These people will worship and praise an artist but will not praise God. That's crazy. They will faint, they will scream, shout. And if you're a Christian, don't forget it took one person, it took Moses to lead God's chosen people to the promised land. It, it didn't take an army, it didn't take a legion. So if you follow the wrong person, man, like you fucked up. We're gonna keep praying for Osiris. I don't even know why his parents gave him that shitty name. But we're gonna keep praying for him and we pray that he accepts Jesus and become a true born again and get his life back together. So it's been teaser. Share this video, get people alert, subscribe if you're new, share your thoughts in the comments, God bless you, bye. They're dealing with killing themselves. They're dealing with, man, come on, man. Like, dude, like, y'all don't understand, my nigga. I'm gonna give you the world, baby girl. You just gotta be worthy, yeah, yeah.